Welcome to Make Easy. Our topic for today is metal casting. Before we start the video, let us first discuss the points which we are going to see in today's video. First, we are going to study why and when casting is done. Second, casting process in detail. Third, the advantages. And lastly, the disadvantages. Now what is casting? Casting is a very old process which is widely used in the industry. Casting generally is used when there are jobs with very complex geometries such as too many curved trajectories or hollow shapes. So when we have such complex jobs, we use casting process. Now let's look at the process in detail. There are some tools which we use in casting process. So let's have a look at the apparatus which we use for this particular process. First, pattern. Now suppose we have a job of Geometry something like this. So, in order to produce this job, we will be using two patterns pattern number one and pattern number two. Next is your boxes in which these patterns will be placed. There are two boxes which we will be using. The upper one is known as cope, the lower one is known as drag. Third, sand. After putting these patterns in the boxes, we surround the patterns with sand so that the pattern doesn't move and it stays in its place. Fourth, feeder. This is your feeder through which we pour the molten metal. And fifth is the riser. The riser looks exactly like feeder which is a hollow cylindrical container, small container through which the hot fumes of uh, molten metal are coming out. And lastly we have saddle. So this is your saddle. Saddle is a container which helps the molten metal. So these are the tools used for casting process. Now let's look at the process in detail. Alright, so these are your cope and drag boxes which are hollow and first the patterns are placed in these boxes. After placing the patterns, this is pattern number 2, this is pattern number 1. After placing these patterns, Sand is filled into the boxes around the pattern. Okay. Now first the drag box is filled and it is kept aside. Next, while filling the cope box, before we put the sand around the pattern, 
feeder and riser is inserted and then sand is inserted around once the riser and feeder is fixed it is removed and also the patterns are removed from both the boxes so once we remove the pattern it will look something like this now after removing the pattern this is the mold cavity which we get and the riser and feeder are also removed next what we do is we pour the molten metal into this feeder and riser uh, feeder cavity so the molten metal travels down to the mold cavity and fills the required shape of the job now after this the total assembly is kept aside to cool for some time after cooling the sand surrounding the mold cavity is removed the required job is then grinded according to the job dimensions and the job which we get is exactly of the desired shape some extra part is then removed by turning or facing or whatever the required operations are in order to keep both the patterns in place we have locating pins on the patterns so that we locate the next pattern exactly opposite to the first pattern now let's have a look at the advantages it is a very simple and cheap process oh, that is not so expensive small as well as large jobs can be made easily with casting process next is the disadvantages first it doesn't provide proper surface finish it doesn't provide accurate job dimension but overall it is a very feasible process to go for whenever some complex jobs are required so that's it that's all for today's video please subscribe so that i can bring up more interesting stuff and you can learn keep subscribing and keep learning